All right, YouTube, here's another piece of Columbus, Indiana history. It's not that wrecked car that's at the end of this rails, but as you can see, there's a dead set of rails that come off what was a main line to Shelbyville, Indiana. You can see the power lines back there that, that ran parallel with that rail line. So this is a service spur that would serve businesses here in Columbus. Uh, there are there is no rail line back there where those power lines are anymore, but you can still see the right of way and of course the power line set that runs uh, northeast out of town towards Shelbyville, Indiana. To my left is a dead mall, uh, and over on my over back there looks like a uh, like an AT and T yard and a Kroger and a car lot, which I'm which is over to my right. As you can see, these rails. They're set into this pavement here, and but well, it takes a lot of money to uh, pull up pavement and replace it. So they pretty much, a lot of times, the only time you're going to find old historic rails is set into pavement. The ones that are exposed to the elements, they're going to go ahead and pull those up, and uh, you know just smooth over the uh, the ground under it. But usually, you'll find a lot of these because they're set into the ground. So as you can see, they they terminate up at that. Uh, building up there. I don't think that building had rail service. I think these rails continued on to another set of buildings that was across the road over there. So just wanted to get these rails on video before they were pulled up forever or this lot was covered over with new pavement. I spotted these from Google Earth. So wanted to get these documented. These are probably getting on 70 years old, probably older than that. But I thought uh, those rail fans and history fans and Indiana Hoosiers who appreciate history would enjoy the video. So thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe.